Hello, welcome back to my channel and today's video is how to make easy enchiladas recipe this is my version of making easy enchiladas so keep on watching and do watch this entire video because I'm going to share tips and tricks uh, to make this recipe really easy and you know the drill if you like it please share this video with your friends and family and do subscribe to my channel thanks for watching all right so as you can see i have two pans right here in this pan will make stuffing for enchiladas and this one will prepare the sauce for enchiladas and like i said this is going to be really quick way of making enchiladas it is not like a traditional but it will taste really good so let's get started all right so first i'm going to prepare my enchilada sauce for that I'm going to add a little bit of oil and you want to keep it the lowest flame for this sauce because we are going to add chili powder and we don't want to burn it and i'm going to use this chili powder and this is optional like i said i'm making a quick way so sometimes i don't even do this step uh, adding i'm not going to add all-purpose flour in it usually uh, you add flour and then chili powder and then add water and tomato sauce <coughs> but today i'm going to uh, avoid all the step because i'm making quick so sometime today i'm just adding this chili powder into the uh, oil and saute it i think this much is enough and i'm going to saute into this oil for like a minute just to weaken the fragrance and flavor but um you can completely skip this step and just add your tomato puree into this pot add all your seasoning and you're good to go I'm using this tomato sauce so let's cook this chili for a minute when I make it really um, traditional way I would use it uh, all-purpose flour and then chili powder and water and I don't use much of the tomato sauce but today uh, like I said I'm making quick ones so I'm gonna use a lot of tomato sauce instead of um, adding the flour to it because um, you want a thick sauce and uh, I think you have to add a lot of puree to make it thick sauce if you're not adding any thickening um, ingredient like a uh, flour As you can see it has started bubbling and I can smell it so now I'm going to pour my tomato puree in it I'm going to add whole can and then we're gonna add a little bit of water in it of course you can buy this store bought um, enchilada sauce and make it just to save time and if you're in a rush but um, this will give you really good flavor like you have prepared from your home so I'm trying to make it as simple as fast and without using too much ingredients okay and now I'm going to let this boil and then we'll add the rest of the ingredients so let this boil and then till this boil we'll prepare our um, stuffing okay into this pan I'll add a little bit of oil so now since I'm making this really quick I would not add freshly uh, chopped garlic into it because like I said I'm making a really quick version so I would use this granulated garlic and add it just a little bit in it or according to our preference I am making this for four to five people so um, you can adjust the ingredient according to your preference and then into this oil I'm going to add a little bit of chili flakes and we are just going to heat this up a little bit and since I'm making a vegetarian um, I would be using black beans chopped bell pepper and chopped onions so you can use whatever you like if you are not vegetarian then you can use chicken or meat anything you um, enjoy to eat 
but um, I'm making it vegetarian and I am vegetarian so I'm adding this uh, all vegetables and if you are looking for more options there is um, you can add broccoli you can add mushroom there are so many options um, you can use if you don't like this bell pepper and onion and now I will add this bell pepper onion salt to taste mix it up and I'm going to let this cook now I'll do the seasoning for the enchilada sauce so here I'm adding a little bit of dry oregano if you like spicy and chili flakes I'm adding a little bit of chili flakes and a little bit of garlic powder or granulated garlic just for the flavor and I'm also going to add sugar a little bit of sugar and I know guys you never seen this sugar into the enchilada sauce but trust me since we have used a lot of canned tomato puree we have to add sugar to cut off that sourness and it will taste good I cooked this so many times this is my first time so you guys can trust on this one and just try it on your own and you will know trust me it's gonna taste so good and now we're going to let this come to a boil again so as you can see my sauce is boiling and it's gonna thicken pretty soon but I forget to add a little bit of cumin powder so I'm just going to add it right now and mix it that too I still have to add salt but I will add it at the end of making this sauce you can see still a little runny so we'll boil it for a few more minutes all right so look at the vegetables are soft and we don't have to cook them so much because we are going to uh, put them in the oven and cook it for a few minutes so you don't have to worry about cooking them completely so I will add my beans these are like one and a half cup of beans I'm sorry the beans is one and a half can of the beans I have used not the cup you can also use the pinto beans if you like so first I'm going to add a little bit of dry oregano just a little bit I don't want to overdo it this is my secret ingredient I'm going to add taco seasoning into it about it one and a half tablespoon just to make it spicy I'm going to add chili flakes you can also use the hat hat sauce if you like and mix it all well and that's it so we are going to cook this for about a minute or two and that that's it and our mixture will be ready Here is my enchilada sauce is ready as well. I'm just adding a little salt before I turn up the stuff and I'm going to let this cool down before I start using it. Okay, let's check the vegetables. It's been about a minute. And as you can see, it looks so good. Even smells good and it's ready. So beans and vegetables are ready. Turn off the stuff. Let it cool down a little bit. Alright, so here I'm using this flour tortilla and this is for the burrito, so it's like a big size tortilla. And let me explain why. I know that uh, when I make my regular enchiladas, I use those mini size corn tortillas just to make it um, quicker. Like I said, I'm making quick recipe. I'm using this flour tortilla and I will explain um, why I'm using this flour tortilla instead of corn tortilla so first is just because it's the bigger size so if person eats one or two or three mini corn tortillas you just rolling one big tortilla for one person 
so you know you save a lot of time rolling and dipping in the sauce first you're gonna save that a lot of time over there second is flour tortilla so you don't have to dip them in the sauce to, um, enchilada sauce to make it softer because it's flour tortilla it's gonna get really soggy faster so even though when you don't dip it in the enchilada sauce it's gonna cook really fast so i hope i'm making sense if you are making this really quick give this a try it will work perfectly i do it all the time and it turns out really really good so enough talking let's get start cooking <laughs> so normally when i make it what i do is either fry them shallow fry the corn tortillas or um roast it on the uh, pan but just to make it quicker what I'm going to do is going to take a plate right there and this using this canola oil spray the only thing you're doing is just making it soft and applicable. so just spray it quickly not too much on the both sides do same thing with all the tortillas layer them and then once you apply it on the bottom the second second side you don't have to do it on this side just spray it quickly and i'm just gonna do four of them just that's gonna that's how much you're gonna fit in one tray and then i'll do the rest for uh, once i'm done using this and that's it this already and I'm going to put this in a microwave all right so I just put it in for 20 seconds is more than and as you can see how soft are they to roll so 20 seconds is enough um, and then you just want to start using it right away if you don't then just do it put it for another five ten seconds in the microwave all right so we have everything ready as you can see my baking tray uh, tortillas extra plate to roll my enchiladas uh, cheese sauce and the beans we prepare so first what i'm going to do is going to spray it with the oil spray a little bit and then going to pour this enchilada sauce on the bottom of the baking tray just like that and make sure it covers all the sides okay i'll take my first tortilla and then i will need a knife okay so since it's really large tortilla, it's not gonna fit here. It will fit, but you have to fold it a little bit. You can just leave it as it is, or what you can do is just cut a little bit of the edges like this, right from the sides, just a little bit of it from the both sides, so you can fit this right in. And don't throw this, you can just put it in your stuffing. And then I'm going to put my stuffing in. Just like that you can add if you like jalapenos or anything spicy you can add it or um, hot sauce too I'm gonna put a little bit of cheese inside and then just roll it and as you can see I am not dipping my tortillas into this sauce because I just explained these are flour tortillas you don't have to soak them because they're gonna cook fast anyways you can roll it if you want or you can just fold it just like this and then put it upside down right there just like this so I'm just gonna do my second one just put that thing in here stuffing cheese on top 
and then we're also going to do more cheese on um, top as well And you can, if you want, you can tight, roll it tight like this too. Put that extra back in. So as you can see my first tray is done with the enchiladas and now I'm going to pour more sauce over it. Let me zoom a little bit so you can see it better. Okay, that's it. Let's pour more sauce over it. Ready? I'm going to add more cheese on top. Alright, so I have prepared my first tray. As you can see, it's ready to go into the oven. And my oven is preheating. So let's prepare my second tray. And here is my second tray ready as well so let's put them into the oven now what you can do you can cover this pan and cook it or you can uncover and cook it on cover as well so it's up to you since it's flour tortilla is going to cook very quick and cook them for about 15 minutes 15 to 20 minutes at 350 fahrenheit so let's put them into the oven so as you can see it's baking and I will be back once it's done cooking. Now guys are my enchiladas are done. I just took them out from the oven. I baked them for about 20 minutes and I decided to show you once. I'm just going to serve one into my serving plate. Usually this is how I enjoy my enchiladas. I would love to eat them with uh, sour cream and some hot sauce. And I also use uh, the spring onion on top to add some crunch. But uh, do let me know in the comment box how do you guys enjoy. And if you like this video, please share this video with your friends and family. And just subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching.